There's a friggin' helicopter. We have helicopter tours. When in South Dakota, you must stop at least once to see Mount Rushmore. And this is our first time. The town before the monument looks a lot like neighboring towns of national parks. You'll have ample opportunities to get all of your trinkets and such. And to get that helicopter tour if you want, so you can stare into the eyeballs of our forefathers. What? You have arrived. We're sharing our drive what? into the monument to suggest that anything bigger than a truck okay. camper might not be the Minutes, best idea. 14 feet. So non Not valid for parking? What the frick? I do not like that. Oh, shit. Uh. Go up. Sit, go up. Okay. <gasps> I'm not a happy camper. I don't know how we do this. Oh, there's so small RVs. Can straight. I take this one? You can't. Sure, you can drive. The visitor center did have a lot of interesting information on the construction of the monument, as well as why each of the presidents were chosen. It is worth a stop, even though you'll likely be dodging people probably any day you visit. Hello. Morning. morning. Yeah, it's kind of a dreary morning this morning. We're getting there. Um, yeah, we uh, we're trying to find some boondocking spots after we went to Mount Rushmore, and no bueno. I mean, there was a spot. It looked like a landfill where these guys are shooting at targets. We ended up here driving an hour from there to get to Wall Drug here, and we stayed in the parking lot. It was a pretty decent night's sleep. I actually slept through the night, which is unusual for a it was super place like quiet. This, so it was nice and quiet. Nobody bugged us. So we're gonna go check out Wall Drug. It's morning, and you know what I'm going for? No nuts. Gary always says no, but you know, maybe I can sneak one in. It's a busy place already at eight o'clock. Dreary day today though. Good time to be inside. We didn't stay long because honestly, we were both a bit cranky. I did manage to grab this picture and a few of Waldrug's cake donuts, which are really worth those added calories. We're not big fans of large crowds or traveling more than three or four hours in a day, or traveling interstates for that matter. So, yeah, a little crabby. I decided to take a leisurely morning. We had some discussions about driving last night, so we're letting the boss drive. So. I just am and, a little uh, opinionated. It, it's, it's a nice sunny day. So we're driving. It's about 70 degrees out, so it should be a nice smooth drive. And we're going to take interstates because we're, eh, we're kind of pushing it a little bit. we got to be somewhere by Tuesday in Indiana, so eh, we'll take a few four-hour, five-hour days. Get there by Tuesday. Being Sunday, it shouldn't be a problem, so... Even though the speed limit's 80 miles an hour, which I think is ridiculous. But we usually try to run, stay around 68, 69. Yep, just thought I'd tell you what we do on this nice uh, kind of morning. Unless you're looking at cows. You're just not sure what to do with yourself because you're not driving. Yeah, I'm not driving, so i got to keep myself entertained. So I'm counting cows. So far, I've lost count because I guess I got too much gray hair. Yeah, just cruising along. I had to talk to the camera because yeah, I'm bored. So. It's been five minutes. <laughs> now that we're back in the Midwest, boondocking is much harder to find and is generally only available at businesses like Walmart or Cracker Barrel. So we decided to try Scenic Park RV Campground, which is right by the river in Sioux City, Nebraska. Yeah, we've got electric and water. Come on back. 
think we're going to go back a little bit further. It looks like it's more level in the very back. Look good. Good morning. We're doing another dump and chat. <laughs> We're in Sioux City at Scenic Park, Scenic Park, Scenic RV, Park RV Camp. Park. It's, it's a city park. We had a nice river view. Uh, it was electric and water for like, I think it was like $32 or something like that. So really good. Park is well maintained. Uh, it was a good overnight stop. The one thing that I would just be aware of is if you get one of those lovely sights on the water, you do have an interstate over there, so you're going to hear a little bit of the traffic, but not horrible. And at least the dump station is level, so that I don't have to sit and play with the blocks in order to get the tanks to go. We're currently on the fast route back to Northwest Indiana to go visit my parents. We're going to be staying with them for a few days. This sucker that sucker over there leads an oil change pretty bad. We're gonna do that at our at my parents uh, and then head to Michigan for their annual Halloween bash. Our tanks are not back to where they were but they're pretty darn close. It took a, a few dumpings and flushings um, in order to kind of get back to where we were before being stationary. Yeah because you dump for two months with using a tote you don't have a way to back flush, so you don't never get all of the stuff out. We are not a fan of the disposable gloves. We seem to see these everywhere. The reusable ones that Gary has are so much better. Thank you. Iowa looks a lot like Illinois. It's a lot of corn and construction. Yep. Got the one-two punch right here. We changed our minds yet again and just decided to drive all the way instead of spreading the travel over two days. At least we didn't hit Chicago traffic during rush hour. Nothing like it. Right. We're at the in-laws house and mooch talking of course. But our truck decided it needed an oil change while we were on the road so yeah, that's what I'm doing today. So while we're mooch talking, I'm under changing the oil. Yeah, I guess we kind of pushed that engine just a little bit. I showed it to you a little while ago about how to change the oil on this thing, so I won't bore you with the details again, but yeah, that's what we're doing here while we're at the in-laws for a day or so. You ever get together with family and you lose track of time? Well, that's what's happened to us. Uh, we are here at Waffle Farms in Michigan, actually, and uh, we're actually heading out. There was the Halloween festival that we ended up going here, and I, I didn't even get any of, of all the decorations, but this is always a fun time, something my mom enjoys as well, so I uh, came out to help, but we're headed out. And this campground goes totally out on Halloween. Since this campground is on a chain of lakes, there's obviously a lot of boats, a lot of golf carts, and Halloween stuff. Just when you thought my truck looked different, this is awesome looking. This is cool too though, man. We leave the hustle and bustle of Northwest Indiana, which is basically a Chicago suburb, to the calmer and quieter parts of central Illinois. We hope to see you next week as we get settled in. And as always, leave every place you visit a little better and we'll see you on the next trail.